Welcome to another class in our virtual class. Welcome, and today we are going to talk about. Uh, oh, do you hear that? What's that? Uh, it's what? Eight, seven, six, I think I know what's that. I I know exactly what's that. Now let's see if you can guess what's that. Did you? I think you did. And today, that is what we're going to talk about. Our today's topic is a space trip. We are going to take a virtual trip into space. Mm, not the real one, virtual. So let's just see what are we going to do today. We're going to practice sounds which can be easily confused, we're going to learn new words to talk about space and we're going to use the words in context of a space camp experience. Sounds exciting? Let's go! So, uh, you probably heard that, it wasn't very clearly said and we couldn't make it out what they were saying except for the nine, eight, seven, the countdown was pretty clear. Otherwise, I couldn't make out what they were saying. And if you potentially want to become astronauts, I want you to speak clearly. That's why we're going to pronounce some words. We're going to practice pronouncing some words. So we have today the easily confused sounds. T, T and the. T and th. Okay, so let's see. Sometimes instead of ten, we say then. It's actually the other way around. Sometimes instead of saying then, children say ten. Can you say after me? Ten. Then. Excellent. Now we have t, th. Stick your tongue out. All right. Tin, thin. Tick, thick. Three, three. Tent, tenth. Well, tenth, tenth. Okay. Uh, I want you to practice them a little bit. The pronunciation of it. Listen, pay attention where tongue goes and how you pronounce t and th, t and th. Pause and. We shall see together a rhyme. Did you practice? Nice. Did you take care of that tongue sticking out? T, th, t, th. Excellent. Let's see if we can identify the sounds in the rhyme. Home is the nicest place to be with father and mother and baby and me. We skipper our dog and Smokey our cat. Oh, no place could ever be nicer than that. Okay, so let's see. Where have you found the sounds? T, th, t, th. I want you to pause now and find them. Let's check. So, we have father, the, mother, the. Then, the, that, a lot of the. Did you find any T's? No, me neither. And we have the, the, the nicest place. And with, okay. Other than that, you've done a great job. We have T in cat, but it's at the end of the word. I don't know. I don't think you ever confuse cat with calf or cav. Don't think you do that. So let's move on. We are going to start learning some words about space. 
And wait a minute, a trip into space? What is space? Well, space can be two things. It is whatever's outside the Earth. And secondly, is the space, the place that is left. When there is still room, there is space. Okay, space can be any open area. That's space. This room is a space. And I have here, who was the first human to go into space? There is no space in the suitcase, you can say it. And there is some space in the suitcase. What's that? It's aerobics. What's aerobics? Hmm, you can see. It's a set of exercise, usually done to music, dynamic, nice, healthy. They do aerobics. I hope you didn't forget to pronounce after me. Did you? Let's go and pronounce again. Aerobics. Wonderful. They do aerobics. Nice. Certificate. Certificate. Great. He was at the NASA space camp last summer. He got a certificate at the end of it. Certificate. An official document that proves something. Instructor. Instructor. They are instructors at the NASA space camp. Wait. Wait. What's a wait? You see the pictures. Wait is how much you have in terms of your weight. How can I explain weight? When you get on the scales, that's your weight. 100, oh no, 62 kilograms, that's your weight. And it is also a verb to weigh. She has a weight of 130 pounds. Well, one pound is approximately 453 grams, so it's not a lot. It's a normal weight. And we have here the blue ones that these are one kilogram weights. What is your weight? How much do you weigh? Space suit. Can you repeat? Space suit. This is a NASA space suit. A space suit weighs 200 pounds. Can you imagine? It's 127 kilograms. Oh, wait a minute. Why are there pounds? And why are there kilograms? Well, in Moldova, we measure the weight in kilograms. And in the United States, the UK, Australia, and a lot of countries that were colonies of uh, British colonies, they measure everything and they measure weight in pounds. Spaceship. Spaceship. This is a NASA spaceship. Can you say spaceship? Wonderful. Flight. Flight. The flight to the moon takes about three days. It's not a two-hour drive and a not two-hour flight. It's three days. Application. Application. This is a student application for NASA Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama in the USA. That's cool. Space Camp. Press ups. Press ups. She does 10 press ups every morning. Oh, she's good. Volunteer. Volunteer. A volunteer is a person who does things because he wants to and he wants to help. Volunteers are cleaning the forest. Volunteer. Earth. This is our homeland. This is our planet. Earth. Earth. This is the Earth seen from the space. 
Amazing blue planet, isn't it? Oh, international, international. Let's say it again, it's pretty difficult. International. Ooh, you mastered it. Nice job. NASA will open the International Space Station to tourists soon. That is amazing. All right. Well, international means many countries, many nationalities. International. Now, I want us to read them all together again. I read, you pronounce after me. Space. Aerobics, certificate, instructor, spacesuit, spaceship, international, weight, application, flight, press ups, volunteer, F. Now pause and take your time to practice pronouncing those words. Well, I have explained all the words. Okay, wait a minute. All but one. I did not tell you what an instructor is. Well, an instructor, it's like a teacher. He teaches you a skill, something that you can do. Well, now you know all the words. I pretty much explained them all. And you have the word bank in the corner. I want you to use all of those words into the context. Can you? Let's see. Pause. Did you manage? Was it difficult? Wasn't? Oh, I thought that was quite difficult. It took me some time to complete that. Guys, you must be really great. Let's check together. Wow. Okay. So, in the first sentence, I put space. Dear Anne, I'm going to a space camp. I filled an application and I was selected. I am so excited. I packed a lot of things. There is no more space in my suitcase. It is so heavy. It probably weighs 50 kilograms. I will have an instructor who will teach me a lot of things about the International Space Station. I will also learn how to control a spaceship. But along with the fun, things we will have a lot of physical training. We will do a lot of press ups, press ups in the morning and aerobics in the afternoon. We will learn more about Earth's gravity and experience the absence of it. There will also be a simulated flight and I will wear a spacesuit. I read the daily schedule. I read the daily schedule. And we also have an activity with NASA astronauts who are volunteers for educational programs. At the end of camp, all of us will get certificates. I will write you more about it when I come back from camp. Love, Samantha. Did you like the letter? <laughs> I like the camp. It sounds fantastic. Wouldn't you want to go to a camp like that? I would absolutely love to. Exercises. I don't like the idea of the exercises. Otherwise, sounds great. Let's round up. Let's see what have we learned today. And in this section of the lesson, we practiced sounds that can be easily confused. We learned some new words to talk about space travel and use them in context to talk about the space camp. That's it for today. Well, see you next time. Goodbye.